Hey everybody, welcome to Hootie Films Entertainment. My name is Rick Hootie. I'm the host of this YouTube channel. And today we're discussing Scream 6. We got some even more new footage. Plus, does this character not make it across the ladder? Okay guys, we got some new footage I want to share with you today. So this first clip is Mindy and Anika and Sam. And if you pay attention to the background there, you got the window and the curtain. And I th think this is the same shot from a previous uh, clip we got. So I'm going to pop that up and show you guys. You look at the top right corner there, it looks like the same shot, just obviously further back, and it shows the whole group. But yeah, if you look at the window and the curtains, looks like a exact match. So anyways, this clip here, you got Mindy saying run, which brings us to the next clip. And the next clip, you got Tara running. So Ghostface must be there. Then you got Sam here quickly closing the door as Ghostface is coming and she shuts it and you can see the other side that she's on. Uh, I don't know if it's the same door, maybe it's a whole different clip, I don't know. But anyways, she closes the door and you can see blood on the other side. I'm not sure whose blood that is, but... And then she basically just locks it. Then this next clip we got of Sam, she's looking down from the window and it looks like the same window that they crossed the ladder from so basically in this shot Sam just says we're too high up we're not gonna make it down from here so that's what you get in this shot and basically just get some more shots of Sam here uh, crossing the ladder and if you look at this shot here it Looks like the same shot that uh, I shared in my previous video, which I'm going to pop up here. If you look at the top right corner there, we got that pic from my previous uh, video I showed you guys. And I was wondering who that was. I assumed it was Sam. But now it looks like uh, we have confirmation it is Sam. So there's that. More clips of Sam going across the ladder. Then we got this clip here of Ghostface. Looks like he's trying to make his way into the bedroom. I'm assuming that this is the door that they went through before they crossed the ladder and they blocked it off and Ghostface is trying to get in as they're crossing the ladder. That's just my guess, but it looks like it might be the case. Uh, then you got more uh, clips of Sam here crossing the ladder. Uh, then it switches over to Anika. And in this clip, basically, Anika says she can't do it. So it's my guess that she doesn't even make it onto the ladder at all. And... I think she actually gets killed by Ghostface. And I'm going to explain in a sec, but let's just go to the next clip. Uh, so basically, um, you got Mindy and Anika. I'm assuming Mindy is trying to get Anika to go across, and they realize Ghostface is coming, so they have to react quick. And Mindy just decides to go because... Anika won't. So if you look at this clip here, looks like um, you got uh, Mindy about to go across the ladder and Anika is right behind her. You can barely see 
uh, Anika, but I'm going to show you a, a pic from a previous clip that clearly shows that Anika is behind uh, Mindy at this point. Right here, if you look at the top left corner, you can clearly see that Anika is right behind Mindy. And this is exactly why I think Mindy gets killed here. And I'll explain some more. Just uh, wait a sec. So here's uh, Mindy going across the ladder. And basically, uh, Sam is on the other side. Sam is basically saying, you're almost here. And then right after you see Ghostface right behind her. So you can hear Sam saying he's behind you. And this is why I think Anika might not be alive. Because remember, Anika was right behind Mindy in the bedroom still. So yeah, I don't know. Where is she, guys? Did Ghostface get her? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. There she turns around and sees Ghostface. Here's another cool shot of Ghostface. Um, looks like you can see uh, the room in the background with blood. So again, I'm not sure whose blood that is. I don't see Anika though, not even her body, but who knows. Okay, we got this clip here of Tara. Now my guess is that this takes place after the gas station incident. And the reason I believe that is because Tara is wearing the same striped shirt underneath her jacket. And I'll show you here in a sec. Right here at the top right corner, you can see Sam and Tara in the gas station, and she's got that striped shirt underneath her jacket. So I'm assuming, yeah, this is um, right after the gas station incident, and that's why you got the cops and everything there. So then the next shot, you just got uh, some cop cars, nothing special. Just uh, a clip of some cop guards going by. Something new. Uh, and then I wanted to share this again. Because it just looks a little different. I mean, it looks a little longer. I think they made this go on a little longer. Um, I didn't really catch anything new, I don't think. Except maybe it looks like Sam is dropping the mask. Because you can't fully see the mask flat down on the ground yet. So it is possible she's at this point dropping it and it lands on the ground, but who knows whether she had it in her hand or not. And you get a clip here of uh, Ghostface, which is pretty cool. And to me, it looks like he's outside. Um, looks like I see some trees or something in the background and some lights, might even be car lights, I'm not sure. Then we have this clip here, which is an ambulance in the back. Um, maybe someone got killed here. Who knows? I'm not sure where this location is. Um, it's probably outside of somewhere. But if you guys know this location, please uh, say so in the comments. But it looks like you got Sam there and um, really the only noticeable character I see. Then this clip here we already saw, except actually we get some new dialogue. And Kirby actually says, I've been investigating Ghostface attacks. So that's interesting because um, we kind of speculated that Kirby was a cop or part of the FBI. So... By her saying that, does that mean that she is FBI or a cop? I mean, maybe she's FBI and she's um, telling this to a cop. Maybe she's saying, I've been investigating Ghostface attacks. 
But yeah, that's pretty interesting. Then this next clip here, um, we have Sam and Tara. And I'm not sure this character's name off the top of my head. I should have uh, I should have looked it up, but anyways, you guys tell me who this character is. Um, obviously, he's um, law enforcement and and questioning Tara and Sam. So about I'm assuming the gas station attacks, because again, um, we'll see Tara wearing the same thing later on. I'll show you, but um, in this clip, um, this male character basically says. Do you have anyone that might want to target you? And that's what you get in this clip. Uh, then this next clip is really nothing uh, special, just um, another shot of Tara and Sam, I'm guessing after the gas station scene also. So pretty much the same clip I showed you before, but different um, scenery. And then there you go again, um, same shirt Tara's wearing, um, but also I'm guessing that um, the pic I have at the top right corner is also from another TV spot, so I'm assuming that um, these shots are also the same shot, but who knows, you guys let me know. Okay, now we're back into uh, this room where before we had the camera on the other side pointing towards uh, this male character. And I told you he said, do you know anyone that might want to target you? Well, that's this clip here is when Tara responds by saying, um, not anyone who's still alive, which is pretty interesting um, the way she says that. But yeah, anyways, we'll move on. Uh, this next clip here we've already seen. And it's of Tara and Sam running. However, they did not show us Ghostface here running also. So that's something new. Um, I can't tell if he's wearing the same mask or not. The worn out one, but he might be. That's it, guys. That's pretty much all I have for you. But uh, you guys let me know anything you noticed or saw, anything I missed. Let's go ahead and place them in the comments. I, I love hearing from you guys, so don't be afraid to uh, comment. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe so you can help uh, my channel grow. Also, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. Other than that, that's all I have. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.